Hey, what's up internet and welcome to Disneyland's New Orleans Square. In this video, I'm going to be taking you along for our dinner experience at the ultra exclusive Club 33. I did get a chance to experience this back in 2020 for lunch. You can check out that video down in the comments. But here we are going to go in for dinner. It's a four course dinner. I'm so, so excited to check this out. Now, full disclosure, I am not a Club 33 member myself. However, an actual member was kind enough to make this reservation for us. So how about we go ahead and head on over and get all checked in for our dinner reservation. So this over here is actually the old entrance to Club 33 in New Orleans Square and just right down the way is the new entrance where we're gonna go on in and start our dinner experience. Other three of us. So one of the rules about the club is you can't record any video inside, however, you can take photos. Once we walk through the entrance, we check in for our dinner reservation. We're then guided into this outdoor atrium area and handed a hot towel while we wait a few minutes. They call our party's name and we walk up the steps to the second floor where the Club 33 restaurant and lounge is located. You immediately see the very welcoming double doors as you get closer. Past the doors, you walk down this hallway to enter the main restaurant area. We're seated in the far corner overlooking New Orleans Square and Pirates of the Caribbean. You're then handed this dinner menu which shows you all of your options for the four course meal. That meal included two appetizers, an entree, and dessert for a flat price of $130. You can also add an optional wine pairing to each course bringing the total meal cost to $225. Club 33 is also one of the few places inside Disneyland Park that serves alcohol and we're also handed a drink menu with many Club 33 special drinks. For my first course, I ordered the shaved artisan prosciutto, pickled garden vegetable relish, and pecorino fritters. I just love the presentation of this. The prosciutto was super flavorful and I'm really surprised at how good the pecorino fritters are on top. Like I could seriously just eat a whole serving of those fritters alone. My second course is the seared romaine salad with parmigiano reggiano and roasted garlic Caesar dressing. It's definitely a great follow-up to the first appetizer. Definitely tastes more or less like a Caesar salad, but one of the better ones I've had with the cheese and peppers just really making it stand out. Moving on to the main entree, I order Walt's blue cheese crusted filet mignon with cold cannon potatoes and Cabernet essence. Funny enough, we all ended up ordering the same thing at our table. Now, I'm not typically a blue cheese fan, but I am loving the way it complements the perfectly cooked filet mignon. The filet mignon was so incredibly tender and juicy, plus the potatoes are really just the perfect side to go with it. Last but not least, it is dessert time with the strawberry rhubarb crisp, sour cream ice cream, and brown butter streusel. I dig in a little too quickly and the hot part of it definitely caught me off guard. However, I really love all the different flavors going on here and the way the cold ice cream goes with the warm strudel. At this point, I'm feeling stuff, so we pay the bill and walk back out toward the front of the restaurant. That's actually where the Club 33 merch case is located, where you can pick up some of the club exclusive items. During my visit, there are items ranging from Club 33 Mickey ears, collared shirts, jackets, collectible coins, ornaments, cups, and much more. Naturally, I just had to buy a few items myself. I grab a few more photos around the club and we head back out into the park to enjoy the rest of our night. All right, it is now the next day and I gotta say, what an amazing dinner experience that was at Club 33. I mean, you know, all of those four courses were amazing and it really is just such a nice escape after a super long day in the park. And as you saw there, there was that whole merch case full of amazing Club 33 things and I picked up a few items myself. I actually got my mom this Loungefly wallet as well as a Club 33 keychain. And for myself, I was very much on the fence about Magic Band Plus, but I picked up my very first Magic Band here at Disneyland, this Club 33 exclusive edition Magic Band. I'm still trying to figure out how to use Magic Band here at Disneyland, but I was on the fence, but the 33 one sold me, so here we go. And I've always said Club 33 is my all-time favorite dining experience at Disneyland, and you know, always a joy to go and check it out. Now let me know in the comments, what do you think of Club 33? Would you want to try it out? Again, full disclosure, I'm not a member. I cannot afford to be a member, but to the member that was kind enough to get us that reservation, thank you so much for such an unforgettable experience. Definitely a night to remember. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe and bell button below, and I will see you next time on the internet. Three, two, one. Hey, what's up, internet? <laughs>